rural England and things um, are seemingly normal on Earth. However, a not so ordinary situation is developing within the United Kingdom. A poisonous chemical spill that took place many years ago has affected the insect population of an abandoned chemical plant and its surroundings. Only now this disaster is beginning to take its toll. The evil herd, a super race affected by the pollution, is now planning to take over the garden and beyond. Led by the evil herd queen, they are bent on the destruction of all in their path to superiority of the insect world. What bomb more is your job to put a stop to this threat? Save us all! Pick it up, bomb more, cause it's what the bomber! The flying bus bomb more, yay! Following this out, 64. Well, before we get into the main game, the two cities go into the tutorial, and just before we announce, this is the third time I've actually recorded this video because the, the microphones and audio sound absolute shite. And I'm not happy with the, how it sounds, so I've got to do the third time. So hopefully we get away with it this time. So for the third time, here we go. This will be training. Look, we're going to sideboard training. You're prepared with... Here you'll be prepared for combat against the home invasion. Take care to follow all the instructions given. So go from here and follow the yellow path to Narnia. So this thing that's a flower. I Good luck. So basically, we are a little bee that is sent forth to destroy the evil herd, a brand of insects that have been infected by the pollution, and then I wanted to kill everything in their in their wake so, to, so they can rule the garden, led by their evil herd queen. Nectar droplets are a vital to survival during our missions. Pick up the nectar. On flowers, for extra health. Like this. Yeah. Now we go on to the points. We go to the points above the each of the three pots. The the are worth 10, 100, and 500 points. When you reach 10,000 points, you will be awarded an extra life. Continue ahead for further instructions. This one's 10, because it's small. This one's on, look at me. Oh, it's still small, they're also small. And the other one's 500 points. No, that is a tennis ball. The red doors, such as the one to the left, can only be opened by destroying all enemies in the sector. Destroy the targets to your right to unlock the door. Which are these things? One. Yeah. There we go, hard gate open. To open the yellow door, activate the switch by shooting at the weak spot, which is the big glowing blue icon in the middle. And watch the explosion go. Hard gate open. And if I sound a bit off, because it's not the microphone, it's just my throat is having some issues I can't be going to right now. It's not a cough, it's really something serious. Up ahead is the teleporter is the teleport device. To activate it, eliminate all the enemies in your current sector. Approach and destroy all enemies in this sector. Then exit via the activated portal. So if you look at the minimap at the top of the top of the screen, you'll see the enemies in the rings. Obviously the rings tell you how close they are, so if you want them to red, closer they are. There are several there are many kinds of weapon operators to find. Pick up the weapon and select it using the left C and down C buttons. Yeah. What the hell? There you go. Now we need to go because he explodes like green shit everywhere. And I always do. I keep doing that. Every every time I ever do the video, I keep doing that. The large blue structure ahead of you, which is going to be a surprise. Is, is a device which will behind any lines to ensure complete eradication of the sector. I'm flying through it as a surprise, and you should do fights. Well, it's active, you can only have a short amount of time to evacuate the sector. 
before detonation. Escape. Our escape portal will activate once the device is triggered. Activate the nuke and escape like shit to the ex exit portal. Oh no! Yeah, who would have thought like insects having a war against each other and they have nuclear weapons and like bombs and shit? The door ahead of you, which is the thing on the, on the wall, is the key door. If you open the key door, you must first collect the keys, which are in three pieces, hidden in that sector. And I know where, exactly where they are, because here's one, don't touch the water, because it'll kill you, because you're deep. One's in here. A little funny weak spot. Yeah, come on. Come on, me. And then one of these guys has got it, I think it's this one. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Oh, he's moved this time. There it is. I'll take that. Thank you. Ow. Well done, now find your own way back. To the start point. Use what, it, or use what you've learned to exit the level. Wee! Cause it is a race here. Come on ya! And we're away! Now start the real game! Run back here, close the river, yeah, yeah, I don't know what. Which brings us on for the third time, mission number one. Shark strike! A forward herd scout has been sighted. Tenable from base and eliminate all enemies you find in the area. Good luck. So basically this game is structured in levels, so I think it's between 10 and 14 levels. And each one has an objective, you need to complete the objective or sub-objectives. And then you are free to win. And I know there's some points back there, dude. And if you notice know, the bottom left of the screen, there is a time bonus, which means if you do it within a certain amount of time, you get a bonus points. But obviously I am not going to rush this, this is, this is not a a guide, this is not a speedrun, this is me playing it for people hopefully to enjoy and to have reminisce about the game. Now I need to go. Yeah! Get in the hole! In the portal! Oh, there's a couple of enemies over here, there we go, some points. There's a gun. Ow, I hit the leaf. Gun. Die! Die! These are probably the scouts, these dragonflies. This door should open any second now, and like three wasps come through. That's so. Have I got, I've gotten that used to where the enemies are, just no off way off. My spider's to the right. There's a wasp coming towards me somewhere. Okay. Don't hide. Give me a hand! Dragonfly. This is the wasp with the main focal enemies in this game. Ow! Stung me with this little stinger. And for, some, and for some reason, every time we shoot down a wasp, it sounds like a plane going down, which is weird. Oh, funny. Alright, there's another wasp somewhere. It's the other ring there. Die! Spider down here. You survived, right? Come here. Thank you. Explode on your just as everywhere. Take these points. Thank you. Alright, anything else around here? No. That was the briefest of looks, but it'll work. Alright, these are mines, so basically we need to shoot them. Maybe you should have took two anyway, the mid team. There we go. Because they do beep and rotate up to let you know. It's like proximity mines. Of course you get them, lively it comes, and if you get too late, you die. 
No, what I'll do this time is I actually want to do the, the recording set up. That's what this one because I, I killed the last enemy and just missed it. There's one more spider. Or whatever this is. Damn, stuck on the leaf! What is it? Also, these things are actually just like exploded as well. If you hit one of them, you will just explode and kill you. Well, I don't know if it kills you, but it do a lot of damage. And there's the bonus. There we go. Save game. I'm just going three. Yeah, so the, the top two were the previous recording. So. Which brings us on to mission and number two, Radar Run. Uh -huh. Seems to have a network. Network. Set a radar network. The pinpoint our position, which is this thing right here. Three satellite uplinks must be destroyed for our location for many secrets. We understand that one of the radar dishes, which is this one, is hidden down a secret passage. But that will have to be for the next episode because I need to check this recording one more time. In case otherwise, if I have to do this again, I just quit forever. They're gone. Bye. Please, microphone, just don't make me sound bad again. Right, uh, no, 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 like three times. But anyway, hopefully everybody enjoys this game because I, I will enjoy this game if I can get actually get into the latest episodes. They've only done the first two, so um, yeah, I'm 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 confident this will be a good game. Ants, ants. I will die a lot in this game because I remember dying a lot in back when I played it when I was younger. So this is going to be interesting. But anyway, if you did enjoy, then please. Do give this comment, uh, video a like. And seeing that people, people like the videos is really appreciated. Be sure that people like my work. Which is good. <laughs> so comment if anything say in the comments section below. And subscribe if you want to see my version of videos past and the future. And you don't have to do any of that. Because if you watch your profile, it's just greatly appreciated. If you press the bell icon, you will see my real post when I do live. So, I'm going to check the recording one more time. Oh, I hope. To get out that it works, so I can move on and actually produce a video of this, this goddamn series. And then I can get on with the next video. And go from there. You actually get it, make it sound, uh, sound like, I, like, like I'm properly talking. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the series and this video. And I will see you all for episode number two, Radar Rock. Bye now.